Greetings class and welcome to Defense Against Monday Nails. Today I'm going to be teaching you a new spell, Hogwartius House Colorist. Ta-da! So for all of you non-witches and wizards out there, I'm going to be showing you the muggle way to get this nail look. It's not as fast, but it's just as effective. So let's go ahead and jump into everything. Now, I already have my base colors down, so I'm just going to go ahead and go over the colors really quickly with you guys. The first one on my thumb is OPI's Black Onyx, which is my favorite black nail polish. And then on my index finger and my ring finger, I have Butter London's Cheeky Chops, which is a bright yellow color. On my middle finger, I have China Glaze's Frostbite, which is a shimmery cobalt blue. And then on my pinky, I have a combination of OPI's Jade is the New Black. And then on top of that, I put China Glaze's Watermelon Rind just to add some sparkle. The first house that's going to be represented here on my index finger is Gryffindor. So for the red, I'm going to be using OPI's Dreaming of Red, which is a satiny red color, so it has a little bit of a sheen to it. Now to create the checkered design that you see here, I'm going to be using a nail art brush. And I just got this at a beauty supply store. I believe it came in a pack of four and it cost about $10. So um, they're pretty easy to find. You just have to look in the nail section. So I have a little bit of the Dreaming of Red on my brush and I'm just going to create a cross on my nail. So. I'm going to go straight up and then I like turning my finger just because it's a little bit easier for me and I'm going to go across and these are just kind of like little guidelines so I've decided that I'm going to be filling in this corner here and this corner over here with the red just because if I fill it in over here and over here it'll kind of cover up the imperfections and no one will know that I messed up a little bit. So now I'm just going to take the actual nail polish brush and I'm carefully going to fill in the squares. So my Gryffindor finger is finished and now I can move on to Ravenclaw, which is actually the house that I identify with the most. Um, the colors are blue and bronze. In the movies I think they use blue and gray or blue and silver, but in the books it is blue and bronze so that is what I am going to be using. And for the bronze color, I am using OPI's Brisbane Bronze. That is always so hard for me to say. I have to say it slowly because I always want to say Blizz Blaine Bronze and whatever. But anyways, um, this is a pretty self-explanatory color. It's a metallic bronze nail polish. So I'm just going to be using the brush that the polish comes with and I'm going to make a line diagonally across my nail. So I'm going to start here and just work it up. Now as you can see the bronze is not that vibrant with one coat and you can actually see the blue through it. So what I like to do is I like to let it sit for a little bit and then I go over it again so it'll be more noticeable like you can see here on this finger which actually has some nail polish on it that I need to clean off. Now for round two with the bronze color, just kind of bring it up like that. Okay, so the third house is Hufflepuff, which is represented here on my ring finger, so that's what we're going to be doing over here. And their colors are yellow and black, just like a little bumblebee. So I am going to be using another nail art brush, just like this, and I am going to dip it into the black onyx color that I showed earlier. And I'm just going to start making stripes. Last but not least is Slytherin, represented here on my pinky, so we're going to go ahead and do that over here on this side. And for the silver color on the tip, I'm using China Glaze's, forgot the name, Platinum Silver. So this is just a metallic silver color. So just using the polish brush, I'm going to carefully paint the tip. For a little extra sparkle, I'm going to be using this Stripe Right 
glittery silver polish and this has a long skinny brush on it just like the nail art brushes and I also got this at a beauty supply store in case you guys are wondering but I'm just going to use this to add a little bit of sparkle just on the very tip now the last thing I have to do is the lightning bolt on my thumb. So I'm going to be using China Glaze's Passion, which is a metallic gold color, for the lightning bolt. So for this, I like moving my hand over to the edge of the table just so I can steady my thumb on the edge. And now I'm going to be using another nail art brush that looks just like this. Oopsie! And I dipped it in the gold nail polish and now I'm just going to start painting the lightning bolt shape. So here is my finished lightning bolt and I actually went ahead and repainted my other hand because I realized that it did not look like a lightning bolt at all and it still does not look as good as as this side because I'm left-handed so painting with my right hand is a little bit more difficult so that's why this side still looks better but anyways I'm gonna add a little bit of sparkle to this and I'm gonna be using OPI's Eye Juggle Men very funny name I know and this just has purple and pink and blue reflex in it it's very very pretty and just adds a little extra something to the black and the gold so I'm just going to paint this over the top. Now you can kind of see the glitter a little bit and in person it's very very pretty. Now to seal everything in and protect the look I'm going to be using Sally Hansen's Insta Dry Anti Chip Top Coat and I like using this because it makes your nails really shiny and it prevents chipping and it also helps your nails dry faster so they are dry to the touch within a few minutes, like a minute to three minutes, which is really awesome, especially if you're like me and when you paint your nails, all of a sudden you have like 10 billion things you need to do and your nails get messed up. So this is great for people like me. So I'm just going to coat all of my nails with this top coat. So that is it for today's tutorial. Make sure you let me know what you think in the comments below. And if you try out this look for yourself, be sure to post some pictures on Facebook because I would love to see them. My Facebook link will be down below. And that is it for today. So I will see you guys later. Time for me to operate. <laughs>